Hello again and welcome back to Wendy's Way. Today we're continuing our journey in faith in our Gems from Grace and Glory series. We are reading through a series of devotionals written by Marilyn Lee in May of 2019. These are devotionals on Psalm 119 and today we are focusing on verses 33 through 40. Today's reading, I'm assuming, because I don't see it written, that we are reading from the English Standard Version. Typically, that's the version she uses unless she quotes it otherwise. So, Psalm 119, 33 through 40. Teach me, O Lord, the ways of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at worthless things and give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise that you may be feared. Turn away the reproach that I dread, for your rules are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your righteousness, give me life. There's some powerful stuff in there. It seems like in this psalm, we are repeating things quite a bit. Um, and yet there are you know, little nuggets that are different. Uh, you know, we do learn through repetition, but, you know, there are little angles, little perceptions that are different as we read through it. That's from me, not from Marilyn. I'm going to read you Marilyn's devotional now. I love this particular portion of Psalm 119. It is a series of prayers for God to bless spiritually. For God to bless. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes and my promise, as he does, I will keep it to the end. Lead me in the path of your commandments. Why? For I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. I need God to deliver me from my desire for selfish gain, or it will make my life useless to him. There's a thought. I need God to deliver me from my selfish, my, sorry, my desire for selfish gain. Or it will make my life useless to him. Whew. That's a big one, Marilyn. Thank you for that one. Turn my eyes from looking at worthless things. I cannot help but think of the time I spend watching television instead of reading scripture or doing something that would glorify God. Most of what is on TV can be classified as worthless, can it not? To a degree, depending on what you're watching, yes. I do like history and documentaries and things like that, nature shows, so. But yes, <laughs> the uh, majority of, of modern broadcast TV is pretty worthless. Reassure me of your promise made to those who fear you. The New Living Translation Every morning I need the Lord to reassure me. Oh, reassure me of your promise made to those who fear you is the New Living Translation. Every morning I need the Lord to reassure me of his promises so that I will continue fearing him. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God does not mean a servile, cringing fear of punishment. It means rather an inner attitude of awe and respect and sober, trembling joy before the greatness of God. That's a quote from Timothy Keller. Oh, 
I want to read that again. Knowing that it's a quote from Timothy Keller. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God does not mean a servile, cringing fear of punishment. It means rather an inner attitude of awe and respect and sober, trembling joy before the greatness of God. Yes, it does. I do not quite grasp verse 39 in this translation, which is, Turn away the reproach that I dread, for your rules are good. It's a little clearer in the New Living Translation. Help me abandon my shameful ways, for your regulations are good. God, using his word, is the only one who can do this. But as we meditate on the word of God, he does indeed gradually help us abandon our old sinful ways and learn to walk in obedience to his commandments, which are always good. In your righteousness, give me life. I long for your precepts. To me, this says, I love your law and I want to walk in your ways. When we come in repentance to God, and ask him to forgive us of our sins and take control of our lives, he begins to give us new life in Christ so that we can walk in his ways. Today I suggest that you choose one or two of these prayers to focus on and I will do the same. Let's ask the Lord to make them rules in our lives. Sorry, to make them real in our lives. I will do it with you. May the Lord bless us as we do this. Thank you for joining me today. I pray that you'll join me again tomorrow here at Wendy's Way. May the good Lord who blesses me each and every day of my life bless you as well, today and always. Amen. <music>